Today we're going to talk about the AC200 by Bluetti, and this is the lithium iron phosphate version or the AC200P. And a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people are excited about it and talking it up, but this video is going to cover why you should not buy it and some of the downsides of this unit. Because some of the people on my forum are complaining about specific issues and customer service problems. And just because my three units work perfectly and other YouTubers work perfectly does not mean that this system is without faults. So let's get started. So the first major complaint that I'm seeing on the forum is a lot of people do not have the shunt calibrated correctly. It's either showing zero watts going in and out of the battery or it's horribly inaccurate. One person complained that the standby consumption of the AC inverter was at 135 watts. And so I tested it on mine and it shows zero watts. So this means that the shunt is not calibrated correctly. And under this same complaint, somebody else had the same exact problem. But for him, instead of 135 watts for standby consumption, it was 120 watts. And it says that the inverter is using twice as much as what it should when he connects a load to it. And then the third person on our forums thread said that he had the same issue with his in the UK. So there's a power factor correction deviation, and they said that you have to fix it by having a load that's higher than 200 watts, and that will reset it and recalibrate the shunt. And then the original poster said that he did that because the customer service rep told him to, and it did not fix his problem. And then the next problem is random error codes. This person had error 34, no BMS, and somebody else got error code 80, but there's no documentation showing what that error code means. And others even got a BMS communication error. And this member is reporting no error codes, but the temperature is horribly inaccurate. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit below the actual temperature. The next problem is the customer service is either really good or really bad. Some people report a problem and then they ship out a new one and everything is fixed instantly. And other times the customer service is horrible. They just simply do not understand the problem and they are not helpful at all. Next problem is these are behind on delivery. When people bought this through the Indiegogo campaign, they were supposed to receive this I think a month or two ago and people still have not received this. I've had at least 10 emails complaining about this. And so I emailed Bluetti or Max Oak and they told me that they're having a supplier issue. And I'm wondering if this supplier issue trickled down into changing the chemistry because out of the blue, they have a lithium iron phosphate version. This is the new one, the AC200P. So I'm just kind of confused by that. I'm wondering if they ran out of cells or something, I'm not sure. But besides that, everything else that people are saying about this unit is really good. And I like mine, I like this thing, and I've got three, and I'm gonna keep them. But they do have some issues. It seems like a lot of them are calibration issues, so hopefully they can send out a firmware update or do something on their end to fix it. And hopefully fix the bad customer service and late shipping times. If a company says that they're gonna deliver something at a specified date, and then they do pre-orders on Indiegogo, they should deliver exactly on time. It makes them look absolutely horrible. And I think you should take everything that YouTubers say with a grain of salt, because a lot of these units may work perfectly for like 90% of people, but once you get those long-term reviews or those horrible quality control issues that pop up within the first six months, that's when you know if this unit is good or bad. I would give it a few months before you guys order this thing. Anyways, just a quick update video on this unit. I'm not sure if I want to test this one, even though this has a different chemistry. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as the last one, and I don't think they change any of the internals besides the battery cell. So let me know if you guys have any ideas of what to test on this. Actually, I do want to show you guys something real quick. The sine wave on this unit is really nice. I've been experimenting with this scope and going to all of my inverters to see what a good waveform looks like. I've also been testing the grid, and that's even with inductive loads. So pretty incredible inverter circuit, whatever they're using. That does not mean that everything else is gonna work well. It just takes one part of these all-in-one systems to make them fail miserably. But this was pretty impressive. This is a clean, I don't even know how to find THD on here, but I'm pretty sure the total harmonic distortion is very, very low. And that reminds me, we need to make a video about how to use the scope for your own personal use so you can see how well your inverter is running. Typically, most of these inverters work really well and you don't really need this, but I think I wanna show people how to use them and what to look for. I think a lot of YouTubers just like look at it and say, oh, the peak's not flattened, it's good. But there's a lot more to it than that. And I wanna talk about the software that runs the inverter circuit and what determines the efficiency of an inverter. 
Anyways, we'll make that in another video. I just wanted to complain about this and say that it is not perfect and people are experiencing issues. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and I will try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.